Hello my angels. So I got a lot of stuff that came in. I don't know if it's from DHgate or AliExpress, but we're going to go through it. Um, first I wanted to talk about uh, just something to make you laugh. So I live in a very heavily Asian neighborhood. It's usually like Korean and Chinese, right? It's called Flushing, New York. And I, I was really craving this thing called a roast pork, no, uh, a dry pork bun. So they have a pork bun, right? So it's like a, a sweet bread that has pork in it. It's soft pieces of pork. And then they have like their, their own version of like a barbecue sauce. It's amazing. Then they have this thing called the dry pork bun, which you would think would be similar, but it's nothing like that. I already ate it, so I can't show it to you. And it's like this dry, it's like dehydrated pork, but little tinny pieces that look like hairs on top of that sweet bun with mayonnaise. And it sounds so weird but it's so freaking delicious. And I was craving it all day. I did a job. I ran to the, the place to eat. Um, cause I really don't feel like eating like a, a meal tonight. I just wanted to have like little things, you know, like little tapas, whatever. And I got this stuff and this is the company just so in case you guys want to go look at it. It's called Bake Culture USA. I don't know if they're going to be anywhere in your country, uh, your country, your state. But it's bakecultureusa.com. And I got these, which are these little custard desserts. And I, I like to have these with my coffee. Um, these are very popular in Portugal. So, like, if you ever go to Portugal, like, every day you're going to have coffee in this if you choose this for the thing. Um, but theirs is a little different because they all of them are, like, burned on top a little bit. Theirs is um, creamier. It's more of, like, a... The one in Portugal is a little bit more like a creme brulee texture as opposed to this one, which is more of like a custard. So I like these. I got the dry pork bun. This is just basically that sweet bread that they have with cheese and bacon and chives. And so I'm going to heat this up for breakfast tomorrow. It's buy three, get one free if you go at night. And then they had this chicken sandwich, which has like a cucumber, lettuce, and just a chicken patty. So I'm just going to put may mayonnaise on it and it's going to be like a little mini McChicken kind of thing. Um, that, so I'm having this with the dry pork bun and then this I'm having for breakfast one day and then the other one another day. And that's kind of like how I do. <laughs> but the, the funny part is, cause I forgot the whole point of the story was in order to go there, I have to go to like this Asian supermarket. And like, if you're American, you, or, or even European, you're used to going to like American European supermarket, everything's fine. But when you go to an Asian supermarket, not like an H Mart, like a real Asian supermarket, you walk in, and I remember being a teenager and being like, why are the fish swimming in fish bowls? Is that an eel? Why is there a turtle in a baby swimming pool? Like, <laughs> that's what an Asian, like, every time you walk in, it's the first thing you see is the seafood. And they have, like, all these fish tanks with all these things. They have crabs and this, all in water, like, all fresh. And then you always see the turtle in the baby swimming pool. I don't know why. <laughs> And then there's always like an eel, which is terrifying. Let me drink some water since I almost filled it. So I just wanted to share that with you because I had to walk through that to get to the bakery to get my thing. And I was just thinking about that. I was like, you know, it's like a culture shock to a lot of people when they come to my neighborhood and we go to the supermarket. They're like, what the? <laughs> and I'm just like, what? <laughs> I'm so used to it. It's like... Anyways. So let's do this. Um, all right. I have no idea what's in any of these packages. Oh, yes. This is too big. So I got this. It's too big. To see if it would fit my phone. Uh, my phone? No. To see if it would fit the Lenovo head uh, ear pods. You know, the earbuds. And basically this looks like Nintendo, but it's not. Um so freaking cute so look and then you're supposed to put this over your airpods isn't it cute i freaking love this this is what made me so happy every time i took my airpods out but this is not the right one for me this is way too big the air the the lenovo ones are really small now I did order the wrong one first i think i ordered the tall ones so i think these are for the app full iPod 3. I don't think it's going to fit. Maybe it is going to fit. I'm so hopeful. Um, 
Oh, so remember I bought three sets of them. I'm where's my bag here? I bought three sets of the earbuds and I was like, oh, you know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one in my work backpack because today I really wanted to listen to music and I didn't have it. And there was a baby in the house, so I couldn't like put my music on even low because if, once that baby goes to bed, you can't wake the baby up. You know what I mean? Like, no. He was so cute. He was, he was like, he looked Korean, but he was Chinese, right? He's just the cutest little bubble with blonde hair. Like, imagine a Korean baby with the chubby cheeks, and they were bright pink, and he was so cute, and then he has blonde hair. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I was like, oh, I was, it's gorgeous. So these are the little Nova ones, and this is how they fit. It was close, but they're still too big. So I'm probably going to have to give these away because there's no way I'm going to spend money on AirPods. I really like this. I did. So I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway for these. Kind of sad. All right, next. <laughs> that kid was cute. That was a cute kid. I was like, he's going to grow up and be a hottie patati. You know a hottie patati? Um, I don't want to. Looking for scissors. I don't have scissors. Oh, these are the earrings that look like, I don't know, I thought they looked like Chanel. I could be wrong. You guys tell me what you think. Please be nice. <laughs> Please. Hold on. Okay. Oh, they are nice. Oh. They are nice. It's not zooming in on it, right? You can't really see how nice they are, like how pretty they are and how they sparkle and shine. I got two pair because I bought one by Mr. I like these. My aunt has a necklace like this, so I figured I'd give her a pair, but I'll probably give them to her around her birthday in November because um, I never know what to get her, and she's one of these people that makes like half a million dollars a year or whatever. Um, and so, like, you got to get her something nice because, like, she could buy herself whatever she wants. So I was going to give her those, even though they're costume jewelry. To match her necklace and I, I told her I was like oh I love your necklace it looks like Chanel she's like I had no idea and I was like yeah <laughs> like, that's a Chanel dude and then she had this navy blue no the inside of the Gucci purses now are like this royal blue satin so she had the the velvet blue very similar to that uh, blazer but she got it from ASOS I think or something like that and I was like, that looks just like the Gucci blazer. And she's like, I didn't even know. I just liked it. And I'm looking at her like, you know, but I think we just, we just all have to taste. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, I, I need scissors. It's you know why? Cause they, when they, when they pack it, they pack it all the way around. And I would show you, but my address is on it. Oh. When they pack it, they pack it all the way around. So you have to kind of like get all the tape off from around it. I don't have scissors anywhere. Let me go get them because I can't do this. I can't make this video like 30 years long because. Yeah. I had scissors by my bed because I was packing up all the giveaways. I'm going to drop them off tomorrow. It's a box. I just took all the tape off and it's like, I have to, I can't open. This is a lot funny. Okay. Oh. So remember I bought that Fendi bag that I'm giving to my sister-in-law? I'm, I'm, I still want to buy the bigger one, the black one. Um, but I bought this strap. That's supposed to be a crossbody because I wanted it to be a crossbody on me. Body, yaddy, yaddy. I'm not going to show you everything, but it looks like this. This is a better gold than. No, maybe it's the same. Is it? 
So it's this on both ends. And then this is the chain, which is interesting because I have sunglass chains that have this length. So I think when I wear the Fendi bag with the chain, I'll wear the sunglass chain that has these lengths. So, um, they, were, they were in that Amazon set. Oh, look, there's FFs everywhere. This was, <laughs> this was like 20 bucks, 20 or $30. And I figured if I kept that one, because remember I had, to take the, I had not taken the letters off yet, that I would have been able to make it a crossbody. But I think I'm just going to get the big one um, and just rock it for a season. And I, I could keep this because I do have another Fendi bag. I could use this possibly on that Fendi bag. This is really nice. It's a very dark yellow, though. You know how I feel about this dark yellow. But it seems to be the thing. I mean, like they're doing it because that's what the fashion people are doing. They're making these things. Why, though? Does anybody know why? Suddenly everything is like this dark brassy yellow. Is it because it's cheaper? It's weird. So we're saving this box for a giveaway because that way I don't have to buy them. Then here's another little package. Oh, this. Oh, no, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'll fit. So I bought these first. And then I wanted to cancel them, but they had already shipped. Apparently, they all shipped together, but I got two orders today. So I think one shipped. Oh, please fit. Oh, please fit. Okay, I don't think it's going to fit, though. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to push it in. <sighs> push it. <laughs> da da. Nah. Damn! <laughs> like, look. Ah, oh, so these are good for the AirPods one and two. So close. I'm really going to try and push it in there. I don't think it's going to work. Come on, dude. Even the top won't go on. Yeah. So if anybody has AirPods one and two, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Man, I really wanted this. So it doesn't work with the AirPods 3. It doesn't work with the AirPod 1 and 2. I got to see what the Pro looks like. I think the Pro is even bigger, so forget it. So this is for the AirPods 1 and 2. If anybody wants this cute, fun, jovial... Damn, today's... <laughs> it's like, sorry, excuse my language. Man, but this one doesn't have the key. The key thing that the other one had. Oh, it does. It's right here. And next. I mean, it's good for you guys. I mean, y'all are going to benefit from this. Let me just try this one more time. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just like that. Um, no, it's just way too big. I was even willing to like glue it on there. Like, no, I'm going to make it fit. No, it's just way too big. So I guess if you have the AirPod 3s or the AirPod 1 and 2s, because they're two different styles, let me know. I'm going to make a giveaway. I guess I'll add this later after, because we already have all the giveaways lined up. Unless, I'm, you know, because me, I, sometimes I alternate and switch things around. I do a substitute. So let me know if anybody's interested in these. Man, that was so much fun. I really wanted that. So now i got to take all of them out of my cart. Okay, next. I'm going to have a temper tantrum in front of you guys. You know what it is? Because I spent money on it, and then I really, I was really excited about it. I mean, I liked it so much, I bought it twice. Because I knew the first one wasn't going to fit. So then there's this. Oh, this is not the way I expected it to look at all. So there were these two pins that they reminded me of the Plume Chanel collection, but they're not. But they just had that essence. And they look like this. It would look like this on. There's just far more metal than there is stones. And it's not horrible. Oh, 
but it's just, I mean, the metal's not that bad, but it's just not what I, ex like, I expected a better quality, a much better quality. It's not bad. I just have very high expectations. It's very pretty. I would still wear it because it's just a pretty pin. I just expected the metal to be a little bit different. And then I also, that's the big one. And then I got, I got this one, which is similar, but not the same. It's similar because it's elite. This one's a weird one, right? Today's a weird day. This one. So this one's smaller and the leaves are a little bit wider set apart than this one. I can't I don't you know why because the ring light is I don't know usually my ring light is all the way back here and my camera is here but because I had to move my desk I can't put the thing where my camera goes on anything because there's no desk so now I'm putting the, the phone by the ring light and it's really weird it's just very weird right now so I'm gonna put these together in one thing I'm going to wear this right away to see if I like it or not. And if not, um, if I don't like fall in love with it, then I'm going to either give it away to someone in the family or possibly to you guys or, or donate it. I'm just thinking I don't have anything to go to right now. Like there's nothing planned, but things pop up. My aunt is on the board of the Committee for Hispanic Children and Families, and um, they usually have a gala event every year, but I don't know if she's going to invite us this year. I don't know if they're going to do it this year. I know they, they didn't do it for a couple of years now. So these are like little CC earrings with, the, with two baguettes. Looks like that, like little CC with two baguettes. Can you see it? Well, there you go. These are really pretty. These look real. They look good. These are <laughs> safe. Okay, so. The the stuff that I like I'm putting here, the stuff that I'm questioning I'm putting there. All right, the next thing. Because these are all individual orders. I have no idea what they, oh, this is pretty. What they put together. So this is another brooch. I just thought it was really pretty. It is very pretty. Wow, it sparkles. Like it's supposed to sparkle. Do you see that? Can you see the sparkle? It's like blinding how how nice that sparkle is. You see the baguettes? They sparkle. This looks really nice. Maybe I should have got the other one in gold. Cause it's it 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 contrasts with the stones. This is really okay, I'm happy it again. This one's really, really, really nice. Really, really, really nice. Really nice. Okay. That goes on this side. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, dun. There's like a big thing. I'm wondering, like, is it a bag? What is it? This is another pin. Oh, this is a double one. See, I just don't like the metal. It's probably not even bad. Like from to other people, I, it, I'm just, you know me. So it's two pins and they look like this. Wait a minute. Hold on.
I, I feel it like it's stuck. Hold on. Sorry. I don't want to. It's like this and it's just stuck. There it is. Okay. I didn't want to rip it like without even using it. It still doesn't feel right. It feels still stuck. Hold on. What is happening right now? It is very stuck, but, but how? idea what's going on. So it's supposed to look like this. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's supposed to be like this. You could put it on the lapel of your shirt, like, you know, like to, to separate it like that. You could put it like this, like this, however you want to put it on a coat, on a blazer. And it goes with the earrings. I gotta get out of the picture. Can you see it? It looks a lot better in person than it does to you guys. I feel so bad because you guys can't really see. And that's my better camera. I mean, clearly this is not Chanel. I mean, you could totally tell this is fake. You can tell this is 100% costume jewelry. It's not the Chanel um, star one. I forgot what it was called. Comet? It's not the Comet. It's not, um, they have a starburst, they have, you know, it's not that collection, but they did make something similar to it. And that's kind of like why I was led to this. Then there's this big one. I have no idea what this is. It just came now when I came home. Um, it was outside. When it's like this, you have to be very careful because you might you might cut the actual material or whatever this is. So you always cut off a corner and then you kind of work along the top. Cause if you cut the actual item, they're not responsible for you damaging it, trying to open it. Uh, imagine it was the big, <laughs> the big Fendi bag. And I was like, <laughs> I doubt it though. Okay, and then it's obviously something big. It smells really bad. Is this the last one? Oh, and then let me just show you real quick. I got this from Temu. I forgot to show it in my last haul. I don't know how I forgot. This is a neck stretcher. So basically what you do is you put this. This is how like the kings and queens in Asia... In the, you know, the dynasties used to sleep, they had like a little block and they would put their head back and they would sleep on it. So this is just a way for you to stretch your neck. I think it goes like this. Um, and sleep like that or just to stretch your neck. If anybody out there is a chiropractor, do you guys recommend stuff like this? Do you not recommend it? Um, I figure I would try it because my neck, I know I used to have a very long swan like neck. And then obviously I gained weight and I had the, the surgery from the car accident. And then I got this double chin and my neck feels shorter. And then I got this little like bump on my back. So I was hoping that maybe this would help me stretch my neck back out. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. But I was hoping that it would help me with that. Um, gravity finger massager. What? This is what they showed me the pictures of. So I'm going to have to read all that, but it's on Temu if you guys would like to try it. They also have a back stretcher that I want to get that like, it, ha it goes like an arch like this. And then when you put it on your back, it kind of, you know, you can de determine the arch. It goes from flat and then you can determine the arch of like how high you want it to kind of stretch your back out. So I was thinking, of, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. So if you guys remember my Bottega Bonanza video, I, I mean, I, I, oh, huh. This is a bag I thought I would try. It looks like this and it has these long straps and it, it opens like that and it's just open on the inside. 
I don't know if it's genuine leather. I don't think it is because it would have been a lot more. This was like $65. It could be genuine leather, but it's going to be like the cheapest genuine leather. I think this is polyurethane. But I do like that when you open it on the inside, you see the woven pattern. It is completely woven. And I'm going to keep this on, but let me just show you what it looks like under my arm. People are going to be like, what? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so I am wearing sweatpants, sorry. Um, because I was working today, so this is how I literally went to work to build furniture. <laughs> Interesting. I probably, would I do it underneath? I think I like it here. I don't think I would put it under here because it takes away from, I want you to see everything. I wouldn't do this. I like it here. I like it like this. Right? And it's pretty long. I thought, I did not think it was going to be this long. Remember in the pictures, I was like, it's not going to look like that. It's going to look like this. Because with the models, right, I'm six feet tall. They're six feet tall. This thing was like the size of their torso. So it was like from here to here. And then the strings were going all the way down the thigh. That's, I'm, I'm six feet tall. I'm just as tall as they are. And if I held this, this is not what's happening. It stops at like the knee, which is kind of long. And I go, but it's not as long as their torso. Like the one that they had was nice. This would look like the way that it looked on the models in uh, with a petite woman. I like it. I'm really surprised that I like it. Because when I saw this, I was like, oh, it looks cheap, you know? But then when you look at it, it's nice. It's so different. And if you try to, you can't twist it. It's already twisted, like the way it's supposed to be. Like if you try to twist it this way, it doesn't really do anything. It just goes right back to the shape. So this is the shape it's been molded to be. And I'm sure if I take these off, it's going to look really nice. I'm going to shock the S out of my family. <laughs> when I show up wearing this and I'm like, hi, everybody. They're going to be like, <laughs> here she goes again. <laughs> What now? First, they're going to be like, oh my God, is it real? <laughs> right? And then they're going to be like, can I touch it? Can I look at it? Can I, oh, this is different. Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing came off. So now we can look at it in its full glory. Yeah, I think I should let it loose so that it could get the way it's supposed to be. This is really cool. I mean, it's big bag. If you put a, I mean, where's my phone? This is like the size of my phone. Yeah, I could put my makeup bag in there. No, I'll put like a lipstick, my keys, my bag, my phone, a couple of other things. I have another channel where I review tarot cards. It's called Review My Tarot. So I have like all these like Oracle cards and tarot cards that I review. And this is the next one I'm doing. It's the Rebel Deck Couples Edition. So it's like a game that you play with your partner, which I thought was cute. The couples Rebel. Couples Rebel Deck is coming for you, inspired by couples. This is weird. Okay, I'm not going to read it to you guys. Um, but I, the, that's what these are. So these, I have to review these next three decks. Um... I like it. I do. Is that it? Oh, and then I just definitely wanted to give a shout out and I'm going to make it its own separate video. So I did a job for this company where I was folding their samples for them. It's called Diamond Cross Ranch. And what it is, it's this family run business from um, Wyoming, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And they've been there for over a hundred years. They're like grandfathered in. They live next to like the Rockefellers and all these people because Jackson Hole is where like all the wealthy people live. But they're not like, like that. So they created this, this line because they needed to pay their property taxes. They have to make sure that they're able to sustain staying there. So they created this line of cowboy clothes, right? And they have cowboy t-shirts and they have these cowboy shirts. And my stepfather is a cowboy fanatic like every year we have a cowboy themed birthday party for him because he just loves cowboys he has like 17 pairs of cowboy boots and cowboy hats and the little silver things you put here and the lariats and he the buckles he loves the cowboy stuff right so 
you know, I was like, at the end, I was like, you know, how much is this shirt? And she was like, oh, $75. And I was like, okay, I want to buy one. She's like, no, just take it. She's like, please. She was pregnant, you know, like, so the owner's pregnant. They're having their first baby, it's a boy. And she was like, you know, just take it. And I was very happy because, you know, and she tipped me. So I was like, I didn't, I thought this was going to be the tip. Um, so I got this for my stepfather. Um, because, and it was so funny because I told my mom, I was like, ma, what size is he? Because I, you know, I'm here and I'm going to get him a shirt. She's like, you know, today's his birthday. And I'm like, I had no idea because his birthday on Facebook is different from his real birthday. So I say happy birthday on Facebook, but it's not the right date. I don't know. He didn't set up his account, right? So I never know when his birthday is until my mom tells me. So I was like, what a coincidence that on the day of my stepfather's birthday, I'm working at a place that sells cowboy shirts. And then I'm going to buy it for him and it happens to be his birthday. So that's what this is. So I, I definitely wanted to give props to this company. If you guys are into the cowboy theme thing, they said that there's a show called Yellow Something and it's like a cowboy theme show and that a lot of their clients come from New York and LA because of the parties that they're having that are themed based on the TV show. Um, and again, the company is called Diamond Cross Ranch. A hundred years of heritage in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It's their beautiful company. And I chose this. Well, I didn't choose this for my mom chose it. I would have chosen the white one or the gray one. This is like a very breathable, stretchy kind of material. Um, with wick like there's little like holes here so that when you're working on the ranch or doing whatever you gotta do, your body can sweat and let it out. This is considered their sport long sleeve shirt. They have regular long sleeve cowboy shirts. They have the t-shirts and then they have this, they have short sleeve ones. Um, but I definitely wanted to give them a shout out because I think they're beautiful people. I love their story. They're both gorgeous. They, they're both models. They met doing a photo shoot for the brand <laughs> and, um, you know, like the, it's, it's just a beautiful story. I, you know, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know every day of my life is fascinating. Um, when I work, it's just interesting, but, um, yeah, that's my story. Uh, until next time, I really thought there were more stuff. I could have sworn I pulled out all these packs. I mean, I guess we went through them, which is okay. Cause I'm going to go eat my chicken sandwich now. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.